Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 40, Part 2. It is the 27th of January, 2020, and I'm Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hi guys, it's your boy here, Nico, playing Zora, the best captain, coming right at you. Okay, start again. <laughs> <laughs> Something's up with Nico. <laughs> oh my god. He's from the deep south, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, oh, amazing. Uh, That's impressive. Hello, I'm Rico. And I'm playing Zora, the best captain. Hello, uh, Hi, guys. Here I am, carrying the size of a planet. And they say, Marvin, park the car. Uh, I'm Alex, <laughs> and I'll be playing X5, the android mechanic. <laughs> It was intros asked for not improv, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I gave you a perfectly fine intro. Yeah. You made, me... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you made me do it again. That sort of speech gets you views, right? This views. is true. <laughs> this is true. I will weigh that against all the other view counts of this video. Okay. What up? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. That worked. Fine. No, actually, better. Uh... What's happening, Toops? There we go, that's there goes good. How's it going, pal? <laughs> and what's fucking happening? Uh, anyway. Hi. Hi, friends. Hello. And welcome to... He's going to do my intro. Session 40. Yeah, session 40, yeah. The, oh, no uh, way. The Framgences of Eternity. Oh, um, Frogments. Starring yep. us with the game. Uh... <laughs> I, I, I am being played as uh, Lyco Quint, Sneaky, uh, and or Spooky <laughs> all together. Cookie. Adam's family. <laughs> the, the Adam is familiar. And he's calling. <laughs> and he's calling. And he's calling. And he's calling. Oh, uh, ironic thing is, that is the um, captain of your ship calling you. <laughs> So there you Sonus go, Colin. that's, that's how you do Sonus it works. Colin. Sonus Colin. Sonus Colin. <laughs> I, just, I just had to make a point there. Did you though? <laughs> there is a bottom to this barrel and I will fucking scrape it. Yeah. You could maybe try not for one session though, like, you know, <laughs> like a special. <laughs> <laughs> that will be, be the 50th anniversary. The Shade of Eternity. Um, <laughs> have you heard of the, the parable of the scorpion and the frog, right? I have. I think yes. I ate both. Um, as a human. Wasn't that a turtle? Or maybe it was a frog, actually. No, it's a scorpion and the frog. Yeah. Is, is, is that a frog? frog. Cool. Yeah. There's also, like, the fox and the scorpion if you want to get crazy, but nobody wants that, so. Uh, no, no, no. Next. No, God. Um, no, 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 fox no. and the scorpions. Okay, our next campaign. We'll use um, that system that lets us do it. Zig? <laughs> what Zig does next will shock you. Click donate now to find out more. Um, hi, I'm Callum. I'll He's irradiating um, the children. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the children, the women too. <laughs> and then he's going to irradiate me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Callum, it sounded like you were going to have a regular intro and I had to spoil it. Yeah, yeah, well, it's fine. <laughs> you all know me. No, you don't. I'm Callum. I play, I play Zig. The Callum, the unknowable. That burns. <laughs> yes. Callum. The moderately known and reasonably... Not bad. Yeah, I'll give you that, yeah. I think you're actually not bad to pretty decent. There you go. Oh man, I've leveled up already. Yeah. <laughs> Only you though. <laughs> uh, oh no, yeah, so Callum, wow. is, that, is that Callum level 2? Can you see why I made a credits page now? So that you didn't really need to actually... Say shit. Yeah, because... God, these intros. Um, I'm good at intros, okay? I think what I want to do, though, is I actually want to just see once we're finished with the game. I want just a video of the intros, to be honest. Um, but I think we'll do every session title I introduce, then every Nico, then every Alex, just in one you know, <laughs> sequence. Just to we see. can plot the decline. Yeah, I think it starts at session three. <laughs> um, because I think session two actually had perfect an intro. And then, uh, God, I'm talking about like early. Yeah, because one's mad, two is perfect, three is off the rails. Um, <laughs> as the kids say, <laughs> four is rad, time. five's whack. Five is right out. <laughs> um, six, six is what? Yeah, seven's surfs up, and uh, 
Yeah. There and we then we it. just started to eat it. Yep. Eat his ball. Uh huh. <laughs> um, we're not renaming the sessions. Shut up. So, <laughs> where were we? I'm at home. Oh, okay. Uh, and also at my home. I'm retired. <laughs> 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 like, what from your role playing career? <laughs> well, I said it's in, it's in retirement. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure yeah. I said that. Right? I mean, the couple. It's, it's, it's come up once or twice, yeah. Character <laughs> gen, and then every session since. <laughs> I mean, I'm just here to try to relax my last days of my life, man. No, this feels fucking... like a special, like the 40th episode special, remind it, like reminiscing. Sorry about the game we once played, kind of. <laughs> Before we just started ranting for two hours on the internet, mm. which is a much better pastime, really. <laughs> I mean, it's less stressful, right? <laughs> Welcome to the fragments of eternity, the game we used to play. <laughs> but now you just it's the game we talk about playing while pretending to play. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the meta game. Yep, I think that started at session two as well. Um, <laughs> just slowly took over, um, but yeah. As I Zig runs say. up to the dragon and touches it. So you jump over the balcony into the pit? Yeah. Cool. You got to how, do far, how far is it? It's, quite, it's, I do it, that. it's significant. That <laughs> seems okay. like a poor idea. Yeah. I will not do that. Okay. Um, but you're mid-flight now, so what are you doing to stop your full day? I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I'm leveling up to level 9 and then flying. Okay. You let me know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> It'd probably take me uh, less time to do fall damage than it would for you to level up, so... Yeah. <laughs> and both would be significant time investments. Neither of which we have remaining tonight. So, yeah. You are in a fairly cavernous lit room. Seems like an underground coliseum. Um, call my fighting pit. Ended it seen the movie Gladiator. Well done. And anyone that hasn't, well done. Those who are about to die, I salute you. So, yeah. Carry on. So, she gestures to the big skeleton of a dragon. She says, that's the last time I've seen a black dragon. Oh, you're handy what? She looks at you confused. Bu- and she goes, why would I kill a dragon? <sighs> well, judging by the one that we have met, many reasons. <laughs> Mostly they're first now, aren't they? She not. laughs. She just laughs at that because, yeah. Uh, she kind of like catches herself laughing, and she says, "Yes, they are quite arrogant, aren't they?" And she just looks at the entire group of you, and then just smiles at Zig. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. They're known to be a uh, draconic. I'm trying to think if I would actually see. She rolls her eyes. I don't think <laughs> Zora would see as arrogant. Because mm. well, that's probably exactly the way they think. Like, if you're strong enough, then you've got the yeah, right to. The bigger the, I mean, the creature. Like, yeah. yeah. I would just be kind of just like, hmm. you know, like, hmm. debatable, but. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not debatable, I wouldn't say that, but you know what I mean. But they know yeah. sort of like those actions of the. Hmm. It's like arrogance isn't a bad thing if you're right, is what Zora's <laughs> thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a big lizard, so I, mean, yeah. I can't deny that. But we, we cut to gunning down, to obviously, uh, gunning down T Rexes outside, then being burnt alive yeah. almost by goblins. Burnt by a goblin. <laughs> uh. Right? <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> they're, they're, they're really big personalities. Uh. Yeah. Well, they're demons, remember? <laughs> they're fiends. Um, they're fiends. <laughs> I can't believe Emma always just like, yeah, sure, it checks out, sure. Whatever. <laughs> That's not unusual in this office building, <laughs> of which it contains this entire park and f- like waterfall. <laughs> God, this game. Probably is better along the lines of how the fuck the goblins get past my security. I can't admit that. Fiends, mm-hmm. definitely fiends. Must be fiends yeah. <laughs> A dancing demon? No, something isn't right. <laughs> but yeah. So, what do you do? <clears throat> this information. Um. So yeah, yeah. Well, having said it's not her handiwork, I suppose. Uh, and well, she uh, exact words for why would I kill a dragon? Oh yeah, yeah. Why um, would you kill a dragon? I guess why not? I I would I would I would ask her then uh, if. Well, no, no, I wouldn't say it like that. Sorry, I I, I, would, I would just ask uh, how did the uh, how did the remains come to be here? 
please don't say old age. <laughs> she just uh, kind of looks at you almost predatorily, like a I look okay. and over her and she says, They make good sport for my subjects. I wasn't above entertaining my kingdom. Kind of snagger at that. A combat arena. And she kind of looks back at the thing and she kind of like just kind of leans on the kind of balcony that looks over into the pit. And she kind of just kind of stares off, almost like in memory, if you will. Um, then this dragon was presumably killed by uh, what, uh, 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 what, 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 who, who would, who would fight with them? I mean, what was like, were these, uh, I don't think Lyco really has the, the vocabulary of, like, mm. medieval courts. Uh-huh, right. <laughs> Quite down. Um, were these uh, subjects trying to, uh, you know, increase their... Uh, she puts a hand up. Prominence? As if she's about to speak, or please stop talking. Mm. Not sure which. And then she turns around and she says... This was truly the brightest jewel in my crown. Does that translate? It just looks directly at you, like a... He, uh... screws his face slightly, and, uh, yeah. I'm not sure I follow. And then she uh, looks back towards the, uh, the kind of pit. And she kind of motions for you to like lean on the balcony and look over with her. I will, yeah. And she says, "If you were to try and score a gemstone without the proper tools, if you found yourself lacking a tool to score a gemstone, what would you use? If all you have are gems." Ah, I suppose... And she just waves a hand over all the bones. Yeah. Like sharpens like. She just grins with her sharp teeth. <laughs> and... This particular dragon fell to... She just looks at you blankly, as if waiting for you to fill in the gap. Not literally, because that would be impossible yeah. based on the lore of the game, but... <laughs> Whaa, puns. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think like was kind of stumped, because of course... It, it's not like he'd know anything about right. her kingdom. Yeah, and I think that's the kind of point she's making. Um... You can roll sense motive if you want again, Honor. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Do you want me to write in first? No, just give it a go. Sense motive. Cool. Um, you get she doesn't actually care that you know how she killed it, or how it was killed, if that makes sense. Mm. And I use she in terms of her entire court. Yeah. Since there's nobody else around to <laughs> also gesture to. Um, you get the idea that she's clearly not going to tell you every single secret she has. No. Fair enough. But she values you guys enough to show you this. And obviously, as you recall, it was pretty deep and hidden. Yeah. Um, so, what you can get from that sense motive is pretty much a. She's pretty much pointed out that if you're looking for a chance at taking out a dragon, the remains of a dragon, especially from the same lineage, maybe? Yeah. Or colour scheme. Um. Is a start. As they say, it takes a diamond to cut a diamond. And that's pretty much the thing she exactly said to Lyco, right? Yeah. But barring the correct tools, if all you have are gems, how do you score a gem? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, the suggestion, if you were to take that in terms of like 
literally applying it to our situation would be to weaponize the remains. I suppose that would make sense, actually, given what she said. Yeah, what, right. what she did, even. Right, because um, she literally would, just weaponized the remains of the... I was about to say that. I would probably slam down the site in front of her. Yeah. Say something like this. <laughs> she just, like... That's what you're suggesting. Her grin just, like... She turns, and the grin almost, like, just creeps right along her face, as if you're obviously looking at the, the left-hand side of her with her little grimace up one side. And as she turns, she just has this big, very self-proud grin across her, her face as she looks at her handiwork. A lot more hands-on than your average queen. And that's why you're the captain. And she just <laughs> keeps her grin. I don't think she knows how silly I can be at times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think she's had uh, first-hand experience, yeah. actually. You <laughs> also paid for the ship. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You seem to be quite skilled. In a way, there's a weapon crafting yourself. Is my, that my. Common to Dear you? lizards, is your tongue turning silver? Uh. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I'd like. I would probably give a blank look because he doesn't understand that humour. But like what, that. what are you thinking <laughs> in that moment? Uh. What was huh? I thinking, actually? <laughs> <laughs> what did I say before that? It's the Metal Gear Solid <laughs> exclamation question mark that appears above their head. It's like, um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I, I think mentally, I, I, I'm, you know, thinking aloud. It's a metaphor, Captain. Ah. <laughs> hmm. uh, still don't get it. Hmm. Probably doesn't get metaphors. <laughs> yeah, I think she rolls her eyes and just looks back to the bones. And then, um... We, uh... Hmm. What was Zig and Nix? What are they up to? I think, Zig, obviously, you came down to the edge, didn't you? And looked over as well, just into the I pit. I did, yes. Yeah. In this universe, yes. Yes. <laughs> um... Are we doing the, the many worlds uh, hypothesis now? Is that it? <laughs> I um, think Zig's been through so many already. It's not even like a yeah, hypothesis. I mean, it's just a fact for him, though, isn't it? I, I think Nix is just a little bit concerned about the direction of the conversation. Yeah, like in what way? Like what's going through Nix's head then for that? Because obviously, everybody else would be able to pick up on that. Uh, I mean, I think mostly he's. Still probably intermittently switching between the not thinking, not thinking, not thinking, and then actually having to think about something uh -huh. and letting it get through. <laughs> so it's probably a really annoying thing to hear as he's That's trying to not me. think and think at the same time. I guess I'd be turning around and it's like, is this actually what goes through your head all the time? <laughs> like, it's a genuine question, it's not like... It is, because it he can hear that question. Yeah. <laughs> Like it, would, it would seem like a genuine, I'm not taking a piss, it's not like racial. It would be such a good but episode, right, as a TV show, <laughs> it'd be such a good episode because it'd be like the no filter episode, right? Mm -hmm. Where everybody would say what the audience are probably assuming that they're thinking on every other episode, right? But all your characters would be actually saying it and then thinking it. So the audio track would continue, which I love, because you'd be like, oh, I can't believe we're doing this again. And then secretly in your head you'd be like, yes, I can't believe I get to kill stuff, yes. You know... <laughs> And everybody else goes, you really think that all the time? Man, you need help. He really does need help. Right? That extra <laughs> line of dialogue that plays in. Or if it was Cordelia was... in Buffy, it would just be the same dialogue repeated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's classic. Yep. I've always played that sort as being... Kind of like I, I wouldn't say he's racist, the android. He's just like... <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah like you don't really totally get it, ignorant. necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you understand that Nick is a person that does stuff. I mean, he respects that, because I'm pretty sure he's said it multiple mm -hmm. times. Like, mm -hmm. like, but he just does the get it. <laughs> well, if you respect strength, it. that's definitely some reason to respect Nyx, because Nyx has been, like, is a very capable entity, shall we say. <laughs> uh, I guess yeah. the thing to say is, we probably don't really care about your race, but we just care about what you do. Like, I think that's the crew, though, right? Like, the, it doesn't really matter your background, that's kind of what you do for each other, right? That's the, the summary here, mm. isn't it? The crew was the crew we made along the way. <laughs> um, yes. It's, uh, it's actually like... You could say I, you I think... accrued this, but Oof. I wouldn't say that. I uh, I think... Probably... 
I I would just be thinking like, okay, how? Like, what? How does one weaponize a corpse? I I mm. think like as you like is this you thinking it or saying it? Thinking it. Cool. She just pings with her finger the scythe blade that Zora had laid out like against the the balcony, and it just makes a ringing sound. And she just seems okay. to smile at that. As if she's bored. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I would kind of snagger at this point, and I'd be like, ah, our day and age were more used to bang-bangs. <laughs> not really the stab-stabs. And you're not willing to wait for the well. wedding night then, dear lizard? <laughs> 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 Just a big predatorial grin across her face again. I would chuckle inside. <laughs> She, she just, <laughs> like she just laughs. Screams. She just laughs out loud anyway because the whole circumstance is absurd. <laughs> it really is. It absolutely is. I would. I guess I would say then perhaps maybe your assistance again for this would be an order. And what do you have to offer? Is there a contract for this, perhaps? And she looks over at Nick's. <sighs> Everything about this makes me deeply uncomfortable. Oh, he thinks. And like her, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. do you actually just not reply to her then? Uh, I think he takes a moment, pauses, and then starts scrolling through looking for a contract. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think like as you can like stare at her, then just look for contracts. I think she um she kind of breaks the slight silence and says, "You don't seem very fond of me, Warforge." I'm not a Warforged. Forgive my inability to translate. And she just looks at you as if you've inf- you've offended her by the fact that she's already apologized more than a queen would ever apologize <laughs> for her ability to translate into a modern day. <laughs> Next five does probably doesn't pick up on the. Uh, of course, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. As he is probably still looking at his uh, tablet, mm-hmm. scrolling. Um, yeah, I think. This while working, I think you'd just say, uh, it's not personal, but we, uh, circumstances have been changeable and challenging. And I, <laughs> I fear we may jump before we look again. She looks very concerningly at Zig hanging off the balcony. I feel like I think, I think he's kind question. of sitting on the on the on the edge, kind of just well, staring off at the dragon. The balcony obviously has a like a banister, if you will, like a kind of stone yeah, yeah. banister. And so you'd be like yeah, leaning so over that on 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 top of that. Oh, okay, it's like just sitting with your legs hanging over at you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think she actually just literally picks you up by the scruff of your neck and like <laughs> just just sits you back, just either on the ground if you don't put your feet down or if your feet go down. She just literally picks you up and puts you down. I think I think he does that thing that every, every everything does when it's touched initially. He like spazzes out for up, a wee yeah. bit, flailing, and then <laughs> obviously because he's been picked up, the scruff of the neck kind of relaxes a bit. Because yeah, that's how it works. And, yeah. and then probably has know, I think he he like his Ken does just touch the floor and he's standing upright when she puts him down. Yeah. She just looks at you like a disappointed mother briefly and then goes back to Nyx and she says Your concerns are valid. And she like pauses. The implication whether or not Nyx gets this at all is that she's left the pause for you to kind of fill in your name. But it's it's unlikely knowing Nyx that he'd get that. <laughs> Yeah, I think Nix's response is they usually are, and continue scrolling. Yeah, and I think she's kind of got like her palm, like upturned towards you as if introductions, blah blah blah. But obviously that's like been totally missed. Does MD else like does a Lyco or a Zora fill in the blank here? Because it's probably easier for you guys to realise that her <laughs> gesture here was tell me what to call you then, not work. I I don't <laughs> know that. Yeah. Uh, I guess she's probably. I probably had a lot of 
down talks probably <laughs> at all. Like no down talk you know what I mean? Just like plain speech. I just play. Like, she wishes to know your name. I guess. I guess. Question mark. Yes, calling oh. you Warforged is offensive, so please tell me something appealing to call you. Mix then, five. Then she, like, I think as you say that, she says within reason. Um, <laughs> and then you say mix five. And she says, Am I. She looks kind of left and right at, like, Lyco and Zora. Nix five, she says phonetically. And she says, is that one word, or is that two? <laughs> are you the fifth of the Nexus, or are you indeed a Nex five? I think you're probably hear me thinking that is the question. Zigzag, <laughs> 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 like, I've never thought of it before. Oh. And she'll probably ask that question I always ask as well, which goes, and if you are the fifth, was there a Nyx and then you had Nyx 1, or did you go straight to Nyx 2, in which case was there a Nyx 1? You assume there weren't others inhabiting the show that did not call themselves Nyx? I do I'm not merely assume anything, I'm merely asking. <laughs> I am merely the successor to Nyx 4 in this form. But it's... He's like the android pope. <laughs> I, uh, I'm... <laughs> Like, Not like, yet, like I was but thinking, soon. <laughs> should I intervene? Should I perhaps take some downtime in future to teach him social skills? Everybody here is this, obviously. No, I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Looks back to the dragon. <laughs> like, how do I use a dragon? Like, I we get the, everybody gets this mental image because you're thinking it of Lyco picking up the skull with both hands and snapping it shut repeatedly at, like, <laughs> Himani. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you got bone knives? <laughs> Haven't you actually got He's bone knives? He's already got bone yeah, knives. Yeah. They're, my, they're my bone <laughs> knives. Surely they're that would like, translate. <laughs> yeah, but like, they'll, I they'll, imagine they'll, probably hear that have gone through and Zora said, Hasn't he got bone knives? Like, I would probably I, think. I, I, I turn to the captain and say, like, Captain, those are. Those are. They're organs. She just cocks her head Wait, between what? the two of you. I would just literally be like, what? <laughs> That's a realisation to me. I, 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 not quite noticing her reaction immediately because mm. I'm just like perplexed by their not noticing this. Like, And I, if, uh, you know, sort of like, uh, please don't be alarmed because I don't intend to put it to use, but, and then he unsheaths his left one, and it just projects from his forearm. Mm -hmm. And it He's sort come... of almost rests in his hand a bit, so he can use it like in a sweeping motion as well. Oh, so do and you it use is the sword um, like... palm instead of the back of your hand? Yeah. So Spider-Man, not Venom, is what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Cool. Um, and it, it sort of emerges in a way that he can hold it for slashing motions, because it does have a sword-like shape. It is almost like a natural sword, mm -hmm. um, and it's like he, he's holding it out so you can see how it emerges, and it literally just forces it, like fires through his flesh. Um, I would just be like, "Oh, been a lot more interesting than I thought." And then again, you'd hear it gone through his head. I really don't know anything about Lyco. <laughs> 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 Uh, and then like, <laughs> she um, she looks and goes, "May I?" And she goes to like touch it. Uh, I sort of nod, I suppose. And she looks over and she like does that thing where she's kind of half cradling it, um, and she like just runs a finger like from like probably where it protrudes from you all the way down the blade. There is probably sensation to that, right? So it's probably uh, yeah uncomfortable I think, I think in an thing, so. intimate way, right? <laughs> I think it at the very least feels a degree of pressure from it, like, so yeah. he knows when he's using it and when it's active and all that. Um, like, it wouldn't feel... It wouldn't feel touch or pain, but it would be sensitive to something touching it. Yeah, they can to obviously the end of your teeth or something. Um, I was going to say, like, something yeah. touching your nail. Yeah, it's not... No, maybe my yeah. like And, um... Yeah, and she kind of just looks and goes, Yes, you are rather... 
well designed for <laughs> killing, aren't you? I... Mm, you know, that's actually a difficult question. Design it's... would imply... Intention? I sort of move my hand away slightly and resheath the blade. Yeah, and she mo like she just does that thing where she like gestures from your head right down to your feet. She goes, "This is not by nature." No, but then by design. She just looks at you like I don't know somewhere between seriously and pleasantly, right? Somewhere in that kind of. She's not pushing the subject. She's just telling you the truth. <laughs> in her mind, right? So you've told her this isn't by design, and she's went, This isn't by nature, this is by design, buddy. <laughs> it's complicated. I am he smiles a little bitterly? Yeah, like as if it's annoying that it's complicated because you'd rather yes. know. And she kind of just nods in that understanding of I'm not going to push the subject. Uh, and she says, You are all very complicated, aren't you? Not particularly. Mm. She just laughs Which, at that. I think she just laughs. Quite yes. a simple relationship, quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel complex. She just looks at you and smiles. And you ruffles your, your head again. Again, you get that oh, nice really kind cool. of like slightly nails massaging your skull. Uh, <laughs> I was asleep again. <laughs> <laughs> Closes his eyes, goes through his <laughs> She can't um, sleep with somatic components. She scratches the back of your neck. <laughs> uh, yeah, she <laughs> says, well, you may have... Th and she looks over at the... Uh, the kind of remains of the dragon, she says. You can have... She kind of like stops and just kind of ponders and... <clears throat> almost like kind of bites her lip a bit. She says, I forget her name, but... You may take what you need of her. She's not exactly the most polished of jewels in my crown anymore. Well, if no one else is going to say it, uh, thank you. Yeah, it's a slight good. bow, a very slight bow. Doesn't particularly like bowing. Yeah, and I'm. Um, She just kind of turns to the group. She kind of like she mostly has her back to you at this point when she's looking over the balcony, and then she kind of like turns back to the group. Nick's obviously going through his contract law <laughs> thing, and she says, "The telepathy will wear off in about fifteen or twenty minutes." By the way, he smiles quite broadly. I can hear it. She just kind of if like if you say that he out loud, or even if you think it, she just says it's very rude to listen to others' thoughts without their permission. <laughs> That's why I attempted to block you all out. And she just looks at the group and she says, "I believe the um, meal was prepared poorly. However." will suffice in terms of nourishment. The glands in the creature's neck produce a toxin that breaks down the barriers between thought. This is dangerous. You just have not ingested enough for it to be toxic to you or cause permanent damage. However, use of this, because she just looks at everyone, because I don't need to read your mind to know what you're thinking. Use of this for any extended period of time could unravel all of the walls within your mind. Mm. Shuttles. Don't know what she means, shuttles. <laughs> that could be useful. She laughs. Lyco is mentally going like, through it. So before you get to there, like, she just responds to Nyx, who says that could be useful, or thinks that could be useful, either way. She responds uh, and says, It was a very useful tool in my arsenal. Or would she say armory? I think she'd say armory. Mm, 
Uh, yeah, Arsenal didn't really come about yeah. until like gun age. Really, Arsenal was like yeah, gunpowder and stuff. Age. The thing is, there could easily have been gunpowder and Galarian at that point. I don't know anything about Pathfinder to know that there wasn't, so she might be fully aware of gunpowder. There probably was, what's the fantasy thing? Still yeah. have like guns and stuff, it's just like fun. But ball. she'd say armory for definite, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I was I say like a Lyco's thoughts are more like so that whole idea of like the meltdown of the divisions between people's minds is like there's a part like apparently like I hate to use like the, the, the sort of horrible cliche term of acid casualties, but like the perception that you've completely lost subjectivity and are just like at one with everyone else in the mm. world is like apparently a common thing, and people are completely gonked like properly not just high but they've actually fucked themselves up on on acid like that so he would probably be aware that like oh yeah a lot of narcotics give people the perception of that happening and now here's something that actually uh, it is uh, it is a pharmaceutical substance that actually does cause that to happen isn't that interesting his, his brain is doing cop yeah. things basically and i think that makes perfect sense right because you would have seen definitely like especially on things like the lower levels of absalom station right oh yeah um or there's just... got to be like an interplanetary trade right oh yeah 100 percent, right there's definitely drug trafficking in it everywhere um I mean, Nix 5 was probably, or maybe one of the other Nixes was probably involved in it as well, um, <laughs> from just smuggling, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if each of you probably know somebody that's taken drugs, put it that way, it's probably that common in the galaxy, or the solar system, I should say. Um, even if it's just stims to get you through a longer flight, right? You know somebody, or even just the coffee um, on the 11th hour, right? Like, each of you know somebody easily or have known somebody in your, your lives that's probably went through something uh, like students in the the monastery of the burning sun probably taking yeah. like advanced adrenaline stuff to try and amp up their connections to like the cosmos you know oh yes yeah 100% everyone knows somebody it's not uncommon. The vest probably cranked themselves up all the time before a fight. It's that was the one thing I was going to say <laughs> you would know it from the solar system I don't think the Vesk take drugs I think they would probably take like amps. Like, well, but... the reason I say that is because that wouldn't be their victory, mm. right? But surely they would just take it and they can't win. That's the thing. I don't know. Up. It's an interesting one. Um, I mean, the, 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 that's the thing. Honor codes. I don't think they would invent it. I think what you'd find is one of the planets in the Viscarium, probably some of the people were taking some amps yeah, and like, it was making them stronger against them. They were like, oh, you saw my that, man. And then they took it and took the planet. Yeah, I think that makes perfect sense. Yeah, like, like, one of the planets in there, like the Viscarium now, like, once used to just be people that actually posed a threat to the Viscarium, like, physically, maybe. Um, uh -huh. Like, from a prowess point of view. Maybe it just. You know how the. Bene, the Bene Gesserit from June, like the like their minds are so aware and their bodies are so trained, right? Mm. To the, not, maybe not psychically screaming at people, but like the idea that their ritualistic training is from again something like the spice, right? Yeah. Um. So not Arrakis and not the lawsuit from June, but the Vesk conquest equi equi equivalent. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that, that makes sense. Yeah, and the I guess what a, a lot maybe the, of the Vesk... technology of the Vesk is that to be to be honest is probably through conquest, not through yeah. actual invention. And maybe like... it's maybe the Vesk took it not to utilize but to stop it being used. But then you've got some people like, for example, if somebody wanted to try and like be the the right hand man of Demogesh, right? Maybe he takes Amp on the side to be as good as, right? Yeah. Like maybe it is one of those things where. You could insult a Vesk by saying they're amped up, right? When mm. definitely, like, if you said that to somebody like Matva or Domogesh, they'd be like, the fuck are you talking about, son? You take all the amps you want and come say that to my face. <laughs> come uh, say that to my face. Uh -huh, right? Like, I became eight fat tall on my fucking ear. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but I guess that, that makes perfect sense, especially considering the, what do you call it, like the cultural. What's the word? Like, not ignorance, but. Persecution of weaker Vesk. There we go. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that the survival of the fittest means if you are somehow genetically unfortunate, you're gonna either be eaten, destroyed, or like ignored. Right? You're you're left for mm -hmm. dead, really. Um, because it's definitely a tough love environment in the Viscarium, mm -hmm. most definitely. But now I love the idea of this race being con conquered. 
because the vest guards you better. But they did put up a significant challenge where they just, like, the vest went, yeah, we'll just absorb you. And then that caused, obviously, junkie vesks to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. There's a vesk walking around a cyberpunk alleyway with a Hello Kitty backpack on somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> fucking broke <his> man. <laughs> 100%. Um, probably be Zora at some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say there's like. Here's the question now: Did Zora ever use amps? Nah, doesn't need that. He's quite naturally big. Mm-hmm. Has Zora ever been accused of using amps? Yes, absolutely. Right. Cool. I like it because he's like pale blue and he's a female looking fucking mm. male vesk, but actually the size of a female would ju- like act. absolutely probably did. And maybe that's it. Maybe it's more prone in males because of the females are more dominant anyway, right? Yeah. So maybe that, like, I can imagine if Matva and Mogish had an argument, <laughs> you can imagine her just saying amp under her breath, yeah. right? Um, no, 100%, yeah. I feel I think, like you'd be all for, like... Let's not add so much goddamn and... lore to this game for a session, dude. Dear God, it's so good. Okay, <laughs> it's so good. Let's keep on going. <laughs> Um, we'll just we'll, you know what we'll do that it. full bob of like races in yeah. this episode. <laughs> it's a damn good session for just like fucking rebuffing the world slower. Um, <laughs> let us just run a prequel campaign, Nico, about Zora, right, and life <laughs> and the Scarium. <laughs> uh, MD wants to play Matva and all that, and an upcoming Domogesh. She's gonna let me know. We'll just make other characters for that, and we'll just run a Viscarium game. Sounds brilliant. <laughs> uh, nah, it's like <laughs> just a vesk on the game, and it culminates with you guys. Being attacked by the swarm. That's the finale. There you go. Sorted. Um, and a high level Patreon, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, in this game. So, you are all kind of standing. You have shared exchanges and whatnot and discussed, uh, I guess, like options, right? Because you've kind of been told, here, you can yep. have a gift. Take bits of what used to be my best thing I had a giant female dragon. <laughs> This definitely looks, if not the size of Hamani, potentially bigger. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's because I was going to, I was going to pose that question of how strong was this one? Because it's about another hand. Another hand. <laughs> another hand. Shapeshifters. Right. So. <laughs> it could be a big drag, a very big drag. So, here's something else, right? I'm trying to think what the best thing to roll on this would be. And I think it's either super difficult if it's culture, and then I don't know enough about the skills in this game to think of anything else. It's probably just culture. Does everybody just want to roll some culture? Always. Life sciences is valid, I guess, as well. Uh, I'm rolling culture, mate. I'm rolling oh, culture. I'm rolling culture. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sure. Not great. Cool. I. Uh, I think Nix. I think you make the cut as well. Um, um. Trying to think. Do you make the cut? You don't quite get spot on, but I think you follow the same logic patterns that the captain probably makes instinctively, right? Um, so Zora definitely gets this straight away, and it's probably the reptilian part of you um, that kicks in, where you look at it and goes. Dragons live ah. a long time. Right? Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Which means if the the dragons, right? That dragon council you've obviously met in mm-hmm. that cave somewhere, you could assume Hamani's a fair age, right? Him being the black dragon, mm-hmm. right? Which means depending on how old Hamani is, and then, depending on how old this thing is, or was, I should say, he could either be one or two down the chain from it, if they're the same line. Meaning this could be as small. Okay, okay. Or a grandmother. It's a, it's a or a great-grandmother, depending Both. on how old, right? So, based on the timelines in this game, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well... <sighs> and I think, like, Zora of... definitely gets that, which means everybody gets it because the telepathy hasn't wore off yet. Uh-huh. Perhaps it could be a relative. They are here in my thoughts. 
<laughs> that seems fitting after what he did to her sister. Have a chuckle, actually, at that. <laughs> An ironical chuckle. I think, like, I would just wonder how many of them there are. Like, if it's likely, like, are there so few of them? Because, to be fair, it would make sense. They're huge and powerful creatures. They wouldn't probably wouldn't have too many kids, especially how long-lived they are. Like, if there are only a relatively small number of them, then you could probably assume any dragon you meet is going to be closely totally related to any other. This. Right, yeah. Um, so he's just wondering, it's like, I mean, yeah, if if there are only so many of them, then the chances are very good that any two black dragons are going to be close relatives. And the assumption, right, so there's dragon kind, right, in general, right? So you've got dragons, yeah. you've got the dragon kin, you have thought before, and then there's like dragonborn type people and Keshti and all yeah. that, and they all are draconic blood, right? All of them draconic blood. So... Yeah, black dragons or dragons in general are like the purest form of that, and then it obviously all filters down and gets diluted and diluted and diluted, right? So, yeah, it really easily could be that there's only maybe a handful of dragons, but there's lots of dragon kind. Like there could be an entire planet full of dragonborn, right? Mm-hmm. But they're not dragons. You would call them casually dragons, right? Uh, you know, dragon men, chalk dolls. Yeah, but like <laughs> they, but as for like Himani, right? It's quite a like a, again I can say galactically, but like a solar systemly known, you know, a system wide name, right? Really. Um. Whereas, like the five of them, it wasn't like there was five of them, and then like twenty smaller. Blacker dragons behind them. I could whatever. imagine that there's maybe not, there's maybe no like hundreds of dragons, but I could imagine there's maybe more than like say your fantasy realm, since there is like a planet dedicated to dragon blood, like not like a diluted yeah. planet, it'd be like a full planet where they could thrive, like almost. In yeah, the day. unless the dragons came here from Galarian when Galarian went. Yeah, I don't know what it's all of this. Yeah, like, there's a gap. But okay, what, what I mean is, what, what, I mean is <laughs> what I mean by that is, Zora wouldn't know this, right? No, I wouldn't. So, I'm just. Like the dragons could either have been there the whole time and it originated from there, or they went there and diluted the bloodlines of the people there already. Yeah. I think Zora probably actually just assumed that there was more than what he saw done, because mm-hmm. he probably just sees yeah. a planet of dragons and he probably assumes there's more than just that. Like that's like their Trump kids, that's their big men, that's mm-hmm. their female vesks, like sort of idea. Yeah. Like their <clears throat> female fucking black hole vesks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, having sort of thought of all of this, mm-hmm. what do we do with the body? <laughs> out of character, obviously. Yeah, she can't, she can't really hear out of character, me. don't worry. <laughs> and oh, okay. she can probably just hear me think about making a dosco out of it, because why um, wouldn't it be? Like, I'm pretty sure I could make a good dosco out of this. Fucking, I'd get, more later, I'd probably get Nyx to make a good dosco out of this. <laughs> Nick's, Nick's, get all the pointy bits, bits and make Nyx make, make stuff. Big oh. dragon can. Dragon right. can. Oh man, just a giant dragon can. Like, around the mouth of the cannons, just obviously the jawbones, right? Yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. 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 This is one big dragon. Extra missile launchers uh, in the nostrils. Yep. This game's tough that Monster Hunter all of it. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, though, it is, is Monster it, Hunter. His mind probably goes to... <laughs> <laughs> the dragon. Yeah. His mind oh, probably <laughs> goes to, like, uh, <laughs> swords and armor. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> like... <laughs> you could powder some of the bones, put them into ammo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or explosives. Because it's actually, it's really horrific when you think about what you're actually thinking about, right? Oh, but totally. <laughs> yeah. in some good things. Like, as Zig said, chip him any with his maw. It's, it's grim. It's always off all this. It's Here grim. you are, chip you with your maw. So bad. This is so primal, he loves it. Your maw's so big she became an armory. <laughs> 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 it's so bad. <laughs> so big motherfuckers want to find me. <laughs> yeah, I think we're about a day, though. We're about to, like... Yeah, essentially go gank a sudden wheeze more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speculation. It's all speculation. Also, <laughs> he did offer you guys payment for services oh, rendered. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get paid first and then chip him with 
you. We have a big bag of gold, please, Mr. Dragon. Also, can you lean on this stick I made? It's pointy. Is there any point if we're going to offer him? Can we not just take it? Can Although I suppose we can come in the guise of friendship and then use that to get anything we need from him and then... The old Trojan chipping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe he what? I can't the means to... Maybe it's a conversation for What was that, Zig? Maybe he'll give us the means to kill him. <laughs> Can we have the means to kill you, please, Mr. Humani? If we were, if we were to kill like uh, someone like you, um, could we possibly have the the like a dragon noir, like... maybe? Yeah. <laughs> um. Dragon noir sounds like a genre of books by uh -huh. Jim Butcher or something. Or just by single. It probably single people. is, to be honest. <laughs> Or is it double single? I was about to Google it, but I don't no. think that's a good idea. Dragon Noir is probably a range of things you don't want to see. Um, no. anyway. Bad Dragon Noir. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Just You're welcome! Can... Don't search Back anything. Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity. Yes, yeah, sure, why not? Um, so, these are all thinking horrific thoughts. And then what? what what's the plan here? Well, uh, yeah, I suppose, like, who's going to suggest it's time to get to work? Because as it as it's time to get team this shit, really. I'll get the carving tools. <sighs> oh, wait, they're right here. And as she's like, start to, like, as she starts to like shuffle about and think all these thoughts and say everything to each other, she says, and here's me thinking you wanted to leave as soon as possible. Uh, well, you gave us, gave us such a beautiful gift that it would be a shame to waste it. She just laughs. Gift. Oh, you have no idea. This dragon has been a... You mistake my meaning. Oh? Payment. Carry on. What would... The late and soon to be again? Question mark. Drow queen. Like from us. Make your offer. I want for nothing. <sighs> she smirks because she knows that she's just twisting a knife that you didn't know she'd stabbed you with, right? Eh. <laughs> uh... I mean, what the f- what hmm. would- what would you yeah. <laughs> uh, What I love is if you think that, she knows uh, you're thinking it. Yeah. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Because we think my marriage was enough. Uh, <laughs> I mean, she has <laughs> been polite enough to not reply to anything you've been thinking, right? She has yeah. respected that. She's just also mentally fortified enough to not share her own thoughts. Probably because these things are native to our planet and she probably killed them years ago and same thing. Dot dot dot. Take me that poison, yada yada. <laughs> Don't take uh, the, the, the mind blank poison, please. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why Zig never detected magic. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I guess. I actually got to stop what. and think, being like, is it magical? Is it? It's not really, but it kind of feels magical. No, it's not magical. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah. Hmm. So it's in the elf channel because the conversation obviously she's directed it at Zora, but it's between everybody else. Obviously, everybody else is in between her and Zora. So. Um. Hmm. We want to get an elf queen. A drow queen. Elf queen's valid as well, yeah. Uh, yeah, nice. I mean, I'll just just to specify. Are you going to offer your hand, Captain? <laughs> she just laughs, laughs again. I think she just laughs. That breaks her like posing like her full severity that she's got on Zora <laughs> and she just laughs says, and here's me thinking you didn't have a sense of humour <laughs> I mean the was on the table it would snag up <laughs> <laughs> we obviously but we have our skills oh, look, look so bewildered that no one else is seeing this like I would just Sigh, but I, I don't know why I like, signed another a contract. <laughs> 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 Powerful <laughs> queen. 
I mean, she's <laughs> so, realistically, right, she's not that powerful, right? She's not off in India moon. She influential. Did, she could be potentially she doesn't know very anyone. influential. <laughs> See, like, when you've got right. like a fucking manic drow queen starting wars, right? And then another drow queen comes and then says, oh, I'm in your drow queen, by the way. Like, oh, no, she said she was the original drow queen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that could, that could no, carry right. quite a bit of weight. Mm-hmm. That, that could, like... I imagine there's probably like a, like a really small group who are all like, oh, no, the drow queen OG... <laughs> Mm. Probably quite a few. Represent, to be honest. I just be people with uh, like pre-gap knowledge, though. They're hard to come by. Um, true, true. Uh, yeah, right. Now think about it, right? She wouldn't be safe in the solar system if people knew she existed, right? Because you have uh. already thought. Dear God, she knows stuff about pre-gap. Mm. Who else could utilize that information, I wonder? Everyone. We could. We should mince our brain. <laughs> <laughs> I mind link with the queen. She dies. Gagged. Gagged. Just dies. Turns into Alice. I do, I do not support this course of action. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. <laughs> oh, uh, She's not seen bad so far, right? Right. Well, well, that said, if I do, I could download all my knowledge of the current, you know, the current galaxy as it is. <laughs> all the facts about the sun. Greater understanding. Yes. She has a greater understanding the of the time that we're in, and she'll know what she wants. It's like I feel more confused about the system than I did before, except I feel like the radiant supreme's a dick. Like that's what we should come away with <laughs> out of all of that. I think, uh, I mean, literally, I think, uh-huh. um, <laughs> why don't you, you know, why, why don't you ask her if you, if you can do that? She should probably say no, I would think, but you could very easily make the offer. But yes, I, he's, he's thinking that, like, obviously, you, you would, you would, you would know, like, I... And like, I think you're probably noticing that, like, well, you probably noticed at first that like people's thoughts are starting to get quieter. Like, it is definitely wearing mm. off. It's not like going at all, like completely, but it's like people are like whispering now almost. Because um, they're getting to the part where like the toxins are maybe wearing off. The walk here and the sweating of the heat and everything is probably helping that along as well. So whatever they want to jump into the fucking subterranea. After dinner. But yeah. I'm enjoying that. So she um she looks between Zig and Lyco because she's not really sure what you're meaning. Uh, and then I'd, I'd I'd look up at the queen and I'd be like, um can I show you our history? I would not advise you push to connect our minds when they are still weakened. This would be dangerous. Uh, Let me rephrase. No. (laughs) I'm convinced. Perhaps after and she's like done. she got like a really okay. serious look to her face as well. Like when she says it yeah. that way, as if she didn't like the idea of being serious and like strict with you. But mm. she's very much a case of do not touch the burny fire, right? Like that is the yeah, look yeah. she's given you. Sure. Um, sure. And then she says, and as for the offer, this knowledge you willingly give me, I would rather discover on my own. I would be able to process it appropriately I understand omniscience is um, overwhelming yes I suppose it can be yeah she just laughs at that because it's absurd to say that so like both what (laughs) she said and what you said in reply to it she's like like, she's almost now keep in mind, she's translating from her version of Drow, 
into what you've been speaking that she's been trying to catch up on, and when she translates things, they f- they're funny to her, right? Mm-hmm. Because yeah. she's translating it up to what you's here, and then what she's hearing herself say, she's thinking in Drow. So it's like it's being translated bad- badly, like, you know, Vader going, do not want, you know, it's that <laughs> level of, this is why it's funny for her, it's why she's actually finding this hilarious, because she's talking to people that don't get why she's just laughing at everything. <laughs> it's really weird to roleplay. Also, do not want is, is uh-huh. absolutely fucking brilliant. 100% one of the best things the internet has ever done. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, she just laughs at that. Uh, I think I think Zig would kind of like awkwardly laugh, not knowing why why she's laughing. Yeah, she's laughing, mm-hmm. and just kind of laugh because that's that's what's happening right right now. And like looking at everybody else, going, "Ha ha, yeah, we're laughing, <laughs> right? Yeah, why is nobody uh, else laughing? Why why don't <laughs> I'm so what? <laughs> yeah, yeah." And she says, "I could not possibly allow you to take something from me without something in exchange. You understand tradition, after all." Mm. She says generally to the group mm-hmm. in response to the we don't know what to give the Dry Queen for possibly him and his mom's bones. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm still stumped. Dry like, bones. What do you have? Us. Our skill is like like we said really to be honest. Um, but what does that translate to? What does she need done? I offer her my pistol. <laughs> okay. What have I got? So, like, do you just hold it out to her? Yeah. <laughs> she just looks at you. I mean, looks at mm-hmm. it. And looks up at you. Is this your offer? She looks at everybody. Okay. <sighs> A weapon for Make a weapon, this. I guess. <laughs> it's 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 Why? ugly. That's the word you're looking for. Ugly. <laughs> that translates. Yes. My, my yeah. weapon. What's ugly about it? And she kind of just picks it up, like maybe by the the barrel. It's heavy. And ugly. I hadn't noticed it was heavy. Nick says, looking down at his uh, power. Yeah. Ah, then if you want beautiful, then maybe you want this, and I'd take my doshko, but I'll thank you. <laughs> yeah, just hand over your doshko. Yeah. Wow. Do you want to roll like a will save just to not, like, to give up? Like, <laughs> I've got other doshkos, right? I'm just going to, like, I don't I mean, just... no, it's like, right? I this is. A on a cross. No, no, this is, like, your doshko. Remember I mean, no, I've got my tactical. It's my, I've got my. This didn't, is a flame doshko I'm getting didn't we, didn't we talk about you'd upgrade your your doshko? Remember we talked about like signatures? Oh, right. Like, so. Oh, right, 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 right. Is that what right, okay. Yeah, like if you have like a signature item, we agreed that I don't mind if you guys have just upgraded the thing you have and then you've got cash refund for a selling thing you no longer actually have, but narratively you kept the same thing anyway, because it's cooler than just buying 20 of the same thing, but better or higher levels of them. Remember what I, was, do you remember this? I know it was 40 <laughs> seconds ago. Because um, I think yes, that's is. cooler than... Okay. Because no, I feel like it's better than just having the... I could believe Zora could have a wall of Doshkos. You tell me. I just think this would probably mean less if you're just having um, your, like... You know the five no, no, iron. If, 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 <laughs> that's the case, if this is, if that's the case, I, I you're it, well, you tell me. As I said, I'm posing this to you as Zora. Does Zora have a wall of doshkos, or is it uh, your doshko I mean, that you is wanted, your if thing? If you were thinking of being the signature thing, I'm fine with being that. That's fine. I just feel like it's more Klingon, right? With a batleth, mm-hmm. right? It's a this is your blade. You earned your blade, so you would upgrade oh, your blade, um, which is kind of cool. Um, so it makes like, sense as well. It like does make sense. Yeah, so yeah. if you hold it, look your doshko to her, and then she kind of just looks at it and she says, she "I could get you one of these," is what I'll say. Okay, <laughs> and she looks at it and she says, "Do you not like the weapon I made for you?" What of an exchange of tech, you could say. I press the button and the 
Yeah, yeah the like, three red kind like, of plasma blades yeah, yeah. come on, yeah. yeah and yeah. I think, like, the red glow, like, hits her face, like, there's the, the light from it. And then she just looks at it, and, it, like, you can see the three kind of slashes of, the, like, the Moritosh <laughs> in her eyes reflecting, and then she just goes, It's very noisy. Ah, well. But he's our captain. She laughs. laughs. <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would chuckle at that as well. And, um, and she just looks at you next and she goes, You know, I think I'm warming up to you, even if you are not to me. Uh, I'm still getting used to this. Referring to both her and the comedy. She looks at, like as if she's searching for words. And she goes, Yes. <laughs> and then looks back at uh, Zora. And she she goes to like touch the blades like with her hand. I would put my hand front a bit off. You would deny your queen. <laughs> She's just got like a big titty grin, bathed in red light finger. of Demoratosh. <laughs> you would deny yourself a finger if you were to touch it. Ah, I see. And I do ever so love these. And she just like like I guess whatever the wiggles her phalanges. Yeah, that do. Um, <laughs> that'll do for me. Um, she like gestures with her hand, and then uh, she says, "No, I don't want a weapon. As such." Turn off. Can I offer her the bone sage feather? What I've got. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, do you want to like randomly pull it out of a compartment and hand it to her? Yep. Do you I believe like... you'll find this one much lighter. She hands you the pistol back. Um <laughs> and then she takes the the feather and you just see her like run it like just underneath one of her nostrils. The whole <laughs> length of it. And she goes But it smells of death. I'll be honest, my sense of smell is not most acute. And then she looks at you. And then she starts to grin, and then she just tickles your nose with the end of the feather, <laughs> and then hands it back to you. <laughs> and then, as she like, if you go like, if you take it off her, she then like, once you like grab the the feather, you are both holding it in that intense moment. And she goes, "The rat's the acute one," and she lets go of it. I look at Zig. Slow light blinking. <laughs> the white LEDs blink. <laughs> yeah. I think um, Zig would uh, walk up to the queen kind of awkwardly. Mm -hmm. um, and like. They're idiot! They're idiot! No, um, I think it, like, it's. I mean, it's it's useless for everyone else, but I don't care. Um, mm -hmm. He's gonna he's gonna hold out his holo photo. Right. Okay. The Yasoki silhouetted in the sun. Ha uh ha. -huh. And he's he's gonna like, kind of look down and just hold it up. Kind of almost shaking, like not wanting to give it up, but he's like, it's it's special to him, so he assumes it's special to everyone else. Yeah, but <laughs> knowing that makes sense, right? Because it's the same as the kid-like mind of if I can't see you, you can't see me, right? Yeah. Where you think well, this is really special to me, so obviously it must be a special item. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah, I get that. And then um, you hold it up, yeah? Yeah. Do you see anything or think anything or? Do you know what? I I think I don't think he says or thinks anything in particular. He just he just like these he's like special item go. <laughs> yeah. And then she looks at you like again, kinda seriously, like she realizes there's like a weight to the situation all of a sudden. Um, obviously the music and the scene would change ever so slightly and uh, it would probably be Zig's theme but in minor or some shit and uh, then lots more bass obviously as well and uh, she like puts her hand out to it and she says and what's this you offer? it's it's my it's my it's to remind me of me and he just like I think she kneels down to like to properly kind of cup it if that makes sense and she kind of kneels on the ground um, and like if, if she's like if she's like put her hands out I think he would just like put it gently in the sort of like 
Yeah, she definitely cupped her hand. Cradle of her yeah. hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He, he kind of just placed it like super gently. And I think like she holds it like just in front of her face for a bit, like just where you kind of put it, and she just stares at it for like a good maybe forty seconds, right? Like definitely a length of time where she's taking it in. And then she just I think during that, it's yeah. like avoiding eye contact of, of like all costs, just like not. Well, she's staring at it. So is like, are you, do you mean from yeah. other people or? No, just like in general, he's kind of like looking away and down and. Yeah, like awkwardly and like, oh god, can this be over now? Um, yes. And yeah, so she stares at it for this like forty seconds or something, and she says, "This item carries so much sorrow. Fitting payment for such a loss from my crown." And then she kind of like puts a hand on your shoulder. And then Zig looks up. And then she just kind of like stands up like one knee at a time. Uh, her dress kind of like folds back gracefully. And she, uh, she says, Thank you for this. Hmm. And I think I think Zig's like hold it, holding back like a, a tear kind of trying to be sort of like, you know. I think what she does is she then like moves her <laughs> thumb from like obviously like gripping your shoulder. She moves it to your cheek and actually wipes away one of the tears you didn't notice. With like her thumb. And then um, she just walks past everyone away out of the room with them. Well, ha! Huh. Like we think. <laughs> if anyone's still hearing that. Just the tiniest <laughs> last. Maybe it's the last thing people hear is, ha! Huh. <laughs> now, do you want to call it there? Or do you want to have a chat, uh, like a post that scene chat? I am flagging a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think like, huh, is a good place to leave it. That sounds like a good one. Yeah, so, what are we naming it? I think, and I wrote this earlier, because obviously I wrote this earlier, but... <laughs> I thought Penny for Your Thoughts was a good title. Mostly because I assumed it would come up. Because <laughs> Penny for your thoughts is uh, mostly because of <clears throat> payment. Penny for your thoughts is a good name for a uh, Patreon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Penny for your yes. thoughts is a perfect uh, name for a Patreon your or an OnlyFans. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. discovery, I guess. So if you want to join <laughs> Zig's OnlyFans account, uh, you're wrong and should go to space jail. Um, it's only Zora that has an OnlyFans. I think next five just comes with a tech manual. <laughs> Not wrong. Yep. Uh, any other suggestions for Tyrannophonic? Titles? Tyrannophonic is strong and stable. Yep. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. I I don't actually have any suggestions. So. Uh, Nico. A rare circumstance. I like the benefit of us, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, Zig, I think I think it's so fitting. <laughs> yeah, as to the, it just is like every, every, every suggestion names. that I came up like throughout the the session. I was like, nah, that's it. Kind of hits the nail on the head, really. <laughs> Good. Oh, we got that sorted. Uh, right, goals. So, Zora. hypothetically, um, we'll go down the line. Don't worry, we'll go down the line. Still, still in, in progress. progress. Yep. Get back to the final round to brief the crew. Yep. I love how the amount of like side things that can creep in I mean, between goals is crazy, right? I could cheese oh, yeah. it and like make it a shorter goal, but nah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck with it now, so uh, I'll keep it. Yeah. Next five. Yeah, I'm, I'll get there eventually. Mm -hmm. Yep. And <laughs> Lego. I think. Now, obviously, we won't know if we have what we need until we use it. <laughs> but I think we've just found some really useful tools. Right. I think we've found the semi means. I would say ourselves. you have found means to kill Hamani. Whether or not it's successful, right? Yeah, we Is don't it... necessarily have the strategy, the opportunity, yada yada. Correct. Can you see why I mentioned that at the start of the session, though? Mm -hmm. Now, you can complete that goal, but obviously your red goal is a one step closer now, right? Yeah, one Just... step closer to the edge, and I'm yeah. about to break. Yeah. So you can move that to the completed list. Yes. 
Um, also, I just noticed do yeah. <laughs> cream ye cab, <laughs> which is a particularly interesting one. Um, I have enjoyed that uh, progression. Quite oh, frankly. I don't want to post <laughs> that one later. Oh, right, post. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Do grime ye cab. Do grime. Also, it's so much easier just to copy and paste and then delete the text from the old one because then you don't have to find the goddamn color again. Honestly, yeah, but it, it didn't want to let there me, go. so done. I've done it backwards. Um, <laughs> Zig? I think Zig's made some step in his uh, first micro goal. Um, I think, you know, being able to offer something that the Queen... Yeah, I mean, accepted. literally, like, that he's not useless in the crew need him, right? Yeah, so it's, it's, oh. it's definitely a step towards his... Because, I mean, weirdly, right, so the drag queen clearly likes Zig in some way, or He's cute. finds comfort in him, right? Um, mm. Or acute, as she calls him. Um, <laughs> yeah. Again, her translations are terrible. Small and amusing. Um, it's a developing relationship. Yeah, and that, obviously, that, what's the word I'm looking for, like, gesture, like, the, the symbology of it all, right? The the weight behind the, the gift. You kind of gave her, like, a reminder of you, but also like a reminder of, like, stay true to you, right? Or remember who you are, Simba, etc. Um, mm. Like, you gave her a really hefty item in the sense of, you know, like, I guess, the meta, right? So, yes. the fact that she said, you know, it was so heavy with sorrow, and then she's giving you a dead dragon. Right, that she obviously loved having, um, because it was as she said it was the, like the the shiniest jewel in her crown. Yeah, mm. you know, it's I think it was fitting. Yeah, so I definitely think I mean Zig has been useful for random stuff like that, right? So, but then it's also interesting because it's like Zig losing something important to Zig, right? Yes. Or maybe Zig kind of getting over stuff he thought was important to him. Was important, yeah. Like the Radiant Supreme. Yes. So yeah. Um, it's good. It's, 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 yeah, so it's, it's a big moment for Zeke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say definitely that step of your goal is finished, yeah. Definitely. Um, for me at least, obviously for Zig, maybe there's more to it to verbalise in the game. Um, yeah, um, but I definitely think that's definitely a big step in that step. <laughs> No, yeah, like, it's a definitely a big step in completing that overall goal, like, the finding Zig goal, right? So, mm -hmm. or desperately seeking Zig, whatever the goal's called. Mm, finding but, Private Ryan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think that's, it's a really good direction for that, I think, definitely. I also like the fact that, um, where is Zig ends up out of this, I think it's going to be so vastly different to say, like, everybody else's progression, right? Because as we discussed before, Zig's developing, everyone else is developed, right? Maybe with some exceptions to the religious incarnations of uh, Nyx, to be honest. Greetings. Yes, <laughs> greetings. <laughs> the avatar of Triune that I am. Yeah. Um, which... Papa Nyxus. Uh-huh, yeah. And, and his attempt at a movie into comedy. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, well, we've done tragedy so well. So... <laughs> It's, I feel like he's just he's swinging so Oh god, I used to think we should <laughs> Oh god, no. I put uh, jib. So no, I just I was enjoying Nick's swinging between depressed and goal. comedy. I was gonna say let's <laughs> we'll, we'll jump in with that then, right? So Zim do have an idea for a goal to replace. I think the only person to replace a goal is Lyco. Um I have will any? have a think. I yeah? don't have anything immediately. That's fine. Um, yeah. I'm sure by next week we'll have come up with something. No worries. Anyone else changing their goals or are they happy as is? I'm pretty happy with mine actually. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I think it's, it's just good as well, waiting until yeah. the right time. Yeah, and it's one of those perfect you need to wait for the timing goals anyway. Yeah. And I like that about mm -hmm. that specific finding the burial spot for her. Um, yeah, with that then, let's do our roundup chat and we'll start with next. why don't we? Because it there was a lot of um, there was probably a, a really equal balance of dialogue for everybody, right? Um, mm. In this particular session, I actually really enjoyed that fact that I felt there was nobody, not left out, but nobody staying quiet, nobody with nothing to say as such, 
Um, telepathy does that to you, obviously. But uh, <laughs> no, I think telepathy. It, <laughs> it was really good for. Obviously, she doesn't understand what Nyx is, right? Mm. The Queen. So her calling like a Warforged to her is the closest approximation she has for what an android is. Uh, I don't think Nick would appreciate the aged terms. Yeah, because no, obviously, it's... like in terms of you, it's like version. You know, not even a version, right? It's like tree by comparison yeah, and, to Nick. And I imagine, yeah, the the consideration of the social status of Warforged versus androids, and mm-hmm. I guess just the general. I say Nick probably has a, has a bit of prejudice about the fact that it's somebody from a previous time, mm-hmm. and yeah, you know, he does have that chip on his shoulder about anyone that's potentially can be old-fashioned with their views on androids. Um, yeah, and it does make sense because of the... I don't know, the progression in Nix 5 is... in Nix 5's mind would be linear, right? Mm-hmm. Um, not to go into quantum thinking, of course, but <laughs> linear. Uh, I know he's trying to get into quantum thinking, but... Um, I do find that really interesting, obviously, because she's playing catch-up on a kind of you know, millennial scale, right? Um, mm. Where she's having to, like, you know, her thought processes are delayed because she's translating through however many dialogues or dialects or she can to get to the closest fit for something that mm. users are talking about. And then she has to try and wrap it in modern context where she has no frame of reference for. And she's willing to refuse, like, the frame of reference Zig offered her. Because that's it's not so much cheating, but it's probably the frame of reference she wants herself, not Zig's frame of reference, which is mostly panic. Mm-hmm. Um, because then she wouldn't know if the reactions she's re- she was having to things would be Zig's reactions, right? I don't want to go to this planet because of what Zig doesn't want to go to the planet for, right? Instead of actually, like, maybe she wants to go there and check it out herself, right? So, yeah, it's super interesting. But sorry, like, carry on. I'm mostly dialogue there. No, it's just, uh, yeah, the... I feel I enjoyed things like, you know, the the general questions of X5 is that, you know, what does 5 mean in that context? Especially because it is that sort of thing that the party themselves won't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and she's, she herself doesn't know. Luckily, her being that weirdly, like blank mm. canvas of a, a an NPC she's like I don't understand what this thing you are all really comfortable talking about is what is that uh, thing <laughs> I kind of like the fact that the party as much as they're comfortable using his name they're not necessarily comfortable with the concept because uh-huh. that makes sense um, to him right because you are a singular entity you are a Nick yeah. five however you weren't always but you have always been Nick five it's one of those hanging questions that's very similar I think to Lyco in that respect is you don't really just talk to Lyco and go, so about that time you were not undead. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. as much as you could have that conversation, it feels rude. Yeah, like Alice would have that conversation and she wouldn't get why no. you were looking at her like, you, <laughs> you know, you've interrupted. But... Did you say that was being rude since she was unfantile? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, he's really I'm protective. I'm the one to tell her off. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't tell Alice off, that's my job. Um, yeah, no. I'm enjoying those uh, kind of those complex emotions around Nyx. Yeah, that was yeah, good. It's, it is good because it's almost like Nyx is getting to develop almost like that third dimension of emotions that he was missing, right? Yeah, although I imagine most is a stress response at this yeah, stage. Yeah, Because um, it is a... This situation doesn't feel that different from our situations. She's maybe a bit... But yeah. What was that? Sorry, you were cut out a bit. I said this situation with the Drow Queen doesn't feel that different from any time we've made a deal with anyone else that's high powered. Yeah, I guess the difference is she's... she isn't actually asking you to do anything. Yeah, no, but I think it Nick's is You're you know, right he's to be the one that's most worried right? about it. Yeah, and it's you've got total concerns because she is a massive liability, right? There's yeah. no way to like sugarcoat that. She has been nothing but nice. Anytime you've tried to like gauge her, she's either been impossible to read or totally genuine right and sometimes that's not that the two of us are necessarily speaking on the same level anyway at any yeah. time um, we don't gauge each other but even from like Lyco's and like 
interactions with her mm. as well. Like everything's been face value, if slightly prolonged, right? Where she's like thinking of, remember that time I used to be a queen and I used to know everybody? That was cool. I don't know MD now, right? So like, there's that. I she's fully aware she is alone, right? Mm-hmm. So I think that's the only kind of emotions you've had from her is, yeah, you guys are actually useful and really competent and it's so weird being surrounded by people that just complete things where yep. it's, she's also like but also you are kind of all I've got actually so yeah versus the other people you've interacted with which have been we own you out or could just eat you right mm-hmm. which is kind of yeah there's, there's something nice about to table. join the crew maybe that's what we offer a boom got done <laughs> just in- I already suggested you marry I, like <laughs> I mean, I tried to give her that. I tried to give her somebody, right? She's, she's, she just laughed it off. <laughs> I think what you offered her, though, right, from her mentality, is second chair. Right? Uh, I guess, I guess. So, I mean, I was the... Considering she has the only chair currently... You've basically told her, give me that chair and build yourself a slightly less impressive one. <laughs> right? That's how that translates to drow royalty hierarchy. She doesn't want to be second chair. She is first chair. I don't think so. I was actually being fed Oh, no, yeah. Was like, and here was she. Like, she, was, anyway. <laughs> like, she was teasing with you the whole time anyway, right? And um, I think you kind of like get the fact that she was happily playful with you because she gave you a scythe, right? <laughs> Um, she probably would have said something like that's to cut the tension, but she didn't, right? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But you can imagine I'd she probably... it, man. Uh-huh. And, I'd went, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you obviously had to fight in sexy combat with her in the holodeck. Yeah, so obviously that never happened, but there's still yeah. time if maybe you offer her to join the crew, maybe you don't, maybe you, I mean. If you play your cards right, she has a giant empty palace. Setting base of operations. Or actual base of operations instead of the garage. Yeah. It's yeah, in the hostile the territory. <laughs> Obviously, General Ivan is currently manning that forward base. <laughs> General Ivan needs to get recovered. Um, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we need to do it. Uh, so, I know we're off track here. Nick, anything else you want to add? Uh, no, I think that's... Uh... I kind of covered everything. No, yeah. it was good. It was good fun. Um, Zig, do you want to go next? Um, do you know what? I just, I, th- I think I just really enjoyed the whole session. Yeah. Um, I think I think it's the first session in a while where I felt like back in it. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it's been, it, you know, the past the past wee while has been obviously a bit on and off and janky and all of uh, there's all our brains have been a bit. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, it's it it feels it's just it's just nice to be like back properly and mm-hmm. yeah, good. Yeah, and, and um, not totally out of your depth, maybe in galactic yes. horror. <laughs> yes, I'm not so stressed anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. um, but no, uh, in a, on a on a personal note, um, I think breaking up my goals and stuff into little micro goals is definitely. Mm-hmm kind of helped that side of things which have you know i've definitely been struggling with the the goals thing since it was introduced so i think yeah no you're totally right like break it up into smaller more manageable goals yeah it, d- it definitely does work um yes um, and it is it's, it's a nice kind of guiding hand towards completion quite frankly for the the goals there's no point struggling with a goal you can't complete yes and um, yeah whereas yeah no definitely before it's just been this sort of you know ethereal concept of a goal mm-hmm. I'm like oh because it is a system I mean, I'm probably going to use in my head it's working but it's not yeah and obviously ideally and hopefully we're likely to RP a lot more in the future together so the the goal system something I do want to promote for gaining experience going forward in not necessarily the exact same method of executed in this game but other systems kind of like for example stars without number wants you to generate goals to complete that's how you drive forward the story and I want to push for that too because I want just to do the 
the game shouldn't be totally controlled by me. I'm happy to provide lots of plot lines and stories for you guys to like care about or ignore, but I also kind of want you guys to then sit back and go, remember that plot line several sessions ago? I think I go, I'm going to pull that up, so that's my new goal. Mm. Find out what was happening with that thing there. Old man guns contract, is that still legal? You know, that type of thing. Um, so yeah, that is definitely good for direction, goals. Anything else you um, I just want to say it was a completely random moment, but it stuck with me is when uh, Lyco went, it's complicated. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's my highlight of the session. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Um, that is all. I like the fact that you gave up your little photo, personally. Um, that was awesome. Especially oh, I was really, I was like, I was toying with it because like I... I personally really like having little trinkets in my inventory. Right, because I think that I didn't. I gave you that on graduation day, right? Um, was, wasn't that from graduation? No, it was. Day? It was after. Was it was after the Radiant Supreme left the ship, and it was in. It was. It was a part of it. It was part of a chest or something. I'm trying to remember exactly. Um, no, I don't actually remember. I can't. Like, I just assumed I it can't was. Remember. It is definitely something we've spoke about at least anyway. Yes, um, so um, it has we, come we up spoke previously. about it off off camera, to, so mm -hmm. so to speak. <laughs> um, or it was it was part of um, a bunch of possessions I had from the um, from the the sort of monastery. Mm -hmm. um, I think. I've, yeah, your collection of stuff. I have to go back and listen to everything. Yeah, no. That's um, like, I have to go back and listen to graduation day again. Um, oh, no, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I, no, I totally agree. Everything was great. Uh, I did enjoy the session. Uh, I mean, now I'm thinking, Zora, do you want to go next? Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed... Well, I obviously enjoyed all the, like, the stupid war stuff that just went <laughs> right through it to all don't, like don't <laughs> it was like yeah, just a pure lord bomb don't hate me for cutting it short because i actually could have spent hours talking oh, about no, that for sure for sure <laughs> if we did a there special was a lot, like it's good lord god on enjoyed you know, i was really enjoying that just i was enjoying actually... just sitting listening you two should just do a podcast of like the scary all of us should do that we should, we should just do it so a random state of the game chat at some point yeah. um and we'll see See if we don't do it before the game finishes. We should do it as if, like, after the finale. We should do a remembering Starfinder. The fragments of the fragments of it. Yeah. <laughs> and we can talk about how the law is great and the rules can just go to hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the bin. <laughs> In... Why, Paizo? Oh, Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think why Paizo is what I should always like. I have that tattooed on me, so anytime I look at a Paizo product, just be like, nope, <laughs> don't do it to Paizo's yourself. Paizo's a horrendous name as well. Yeah, it is. I don't know why, but it annoys me. Uh, yeah, so uh, Zora, continue. Sorry, I also just enjoyed like not knowing anything about any of the crew <laughs> actually and lore. Like, in terms of, like my character knows nothing about most of the background. It's like. For the most part, Do you know like, why I really enjoyed that part, right? So I'm glad you brought that up because I actually was kind of laughing to myself, which is why I had to make her laugh so much. Is because last session she pointed out so the Vesk are planning on subjugating every day in the solar system, and you all are under the rule of this Vesk, and you are all from different parts of the solar system. I see how this works. This is a microcosm of what they are planning. And it works. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then this oh my session. Oh, she's right. And then the captain. This session's like, I actually should probably get to know my crew. I have just assimilated them into a workforce, and I don't know anything about them. <laughs> I don't even realise it. Remember, <laughs> if you look at the goals, I've already written. I've I've had the goal here for ages, right? Uh, just waiting for you. God Slayer as your new <laughs> title, right? When you become the Vesk Emperor. Please <laughs> don't slay me. Oh dear. Okay. Um, God Slayer Zora. <laughs> yeah. I I just I uh, guess like the other stuff so far has been covered. Um, I enjoyed Lyco's investigative brain and everything. It was fun. Well, obviously, you had to enjoy it because it was yeah. everybody's brain. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, I'll avoid that. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, no. I'll, I'll leave it to La 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 Laiko? Yes. Um, <laughs> well, it was an interesting little session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the, uh, it was almost like a mechanic, I'd describe it, of, of the, uh, mm. the uh, melted down walls of Brainage. Uh-huh. <laughs> So we kind of had to navigate that, and it was interesting <laughs> and awkward. Um, Would you what I will say any is... less from me, right? <laughs> yeah, what I will say is, it was fun to do it. Glad it's over. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it, was, it was just interesting sort of trying to puzzle things out and knowing, you know, never knowing how much to say. Um, mm-hmm. it, it added a sort of, not mystery, but an intrigue to it. Uh, which obviously is very cool. Huh? I uh, I do. Enjoy- Sorry, I'm a bit tired right here. Um, I so enjoyed that. It was it was also a bit of a bit of insight and character motivation again. Like sometimes, sometimes that doesn't always come through so strongly because it doesn't have to, right? Not every mm. not every moment in a in a campaign should be your character going, "Oh, this takes me back to my formative moments in my origin story." Yeah, or something this takes like me that. back to the second paragraph in my background. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it's little things like <laughs> like realizing that the captain hadn't glommed onto what. His, I mean, in, in continuity, <laughs> mm-hmm. what they are. Mechanically, they're necrographs, but of course, me and Ryan had sort of discussed, well, I can't get them for free, but we can excuse the cost as him being, like, checking up on himself with Dr. Naz McEcklick or whatever. Yeah, Naz McEcklick, that's it, yeah. But they are sort of... Organically is the wrong word. Yeah, I think... Um, uh, but they, they are they arising spontaneously evolved, within yeah. him. Yeah. They have definitely and, uh, evolved from Lyco. Is getting it? to hint a little bit at the fact that maybe he hasn't really exposed much of that to the crew, and also just the fact that his background's still a little bit of a mystery. And there's not that much of a mystery there, as far as he's concerned. The problem is that there's the mystery for him. Why mm-hmm. did he walk again? Like, well, even the fact that she she gave you such an, a simplistic perspective, right, in that session, yeah. where you were like, "No, it's it's not by design. I wasn't built this way. This is just what happened to me." And she's going, "Yeah, yes, that's not natural. Thus, it's by a design. Just because you don't understand the design or the designer, doesn't mean it is not designed." It was almost like, what's the word I'm looking for? Philosophical in the sense of touching on possibly a god character for Lyco. It's uh, teleology is that the term actually. There you go. Yeah. If the Drow Queen weren't there, I think that's where Nick's Five would also chimed in. Mm-hmm. Because it, yeah, the, the symmetry between them. Right. Like, I, I think one of the reasons I won't, probably won't comment in-game on the Necrographs is that you just seem like a squishy Nick's Five in that respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. They're, they're right. very similar. Mm-hmm. Oh, I would agree, yeah. I actually like the parallels of the technologically evolving and mm-hmm. the, yeah. like, obviously biologically evolving, but then both metaphysically evolving because they aren't natural progression. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's a strange and interesting uh, sort of process that, that, that we're both going through in, in very different ways, but simultaneously, yeah. Uh, Paralleling each other. Yeah, and um, your your giant lizard man is actually kind of a big softy, and your small rat person, who's the small cute rat, is actually a horrible radiating um, nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, with yeah, the highest so, so kill that count. Was, um, <laughs> that was fun. And what else? Uh, the, the, the sort of negotiation. Obviously, it was nice having like a moment where it's like, oh, here, I will give the thing. This matters to me. So, it, it's, yeah, um, that was cool, and uh, it was nice that it worked. <laughs> I, I liked that. Yeah. Um, well, that's it. Like, I didn't but, write down here is the cost for dragon bones. Yeah. Right. I just wrote, well, you guys have got enough bullshit between you as a group creatively. You can go up with something. And then Zig obviously was like, here's me. And she was like, oh, this is perfect. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. And yeah I, I still do. Like, I, I, I like that we, we, we're sort of getting a bit <laughs> of a, a, maybe a potential combat boost. And that's. Mm. I mean, I keep in mind. Say, I like yeah. as Callum. I'm very upset that I gave that away. <laughs> <laughs> Why has this game just been torture for you? 
<laughs> Start Callum, to finish. Callum, would you like my feather? <laughs> Oh, dear. Uh, so I just loved. I had. I had it. It was in all caps in oh. my inventory. Oh. Like going, you know, holographic picture mm -hmm. of Yusuke silhouetted by the sun. I was mm -hmm. like, oh yes, please, thank you. Oh yeah. no. And it bought you dragon bones that may or may not be someone's like maternal figure <laughs> that you're gonna use to turn into no, a me. spear. Oh no, maybe. Oh no, maybe. And you're and you're gonna stab. Stab somebody with potentially their maybe mum bones. It's bad. Zig's a horrible person. <laughs> Zig is a horrible person. <laughs> Secretly, I think I think he 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 adopts the child like um, Zig has funded the war on humanity to cope with like how horrific he is as a human or as yeah. a rat being. Um, yes. Dear God, is he Ogolas? Maybe Zig has funded that... the war on Himani. There we go. No, what's going to happen <laughs> is um, Zig is going to defeat Urgolas and become the greater evil. I am become Gigabyte, <laughs> <laughs> destroyer of systems. So good, Zigabyte. Yeah, yeah, was... I have become <laughs> Zigabyte. Yes. And he'll still sit on Nix's shoulder. Yeah, yep. hundred percent. And you'll be strong enough to support him at that point as well when he becomes <laughs> Zigabyte Destroyer of Systems. Oh, amazing! <laughs> uh, anything else you want to add, Colin? So, <laughs> you want to again? <laughs> um, no, I, I think I think I think um, I'm done. I think good brain is, is shutting down soon yeah. anyway. <laughs> no, that was a fantastic session, guys. Actually, my God, the lore bombing! Oh, it was so good. Oh, it was oh, so yes. good. We definitely think we definitely need to do these specials that we always talk about. Um, hundred <laughs> percent. I agree. Need to do that. We need to book that in at some point. I think. Uh, uh, maybe and should, about the game. Yeah, I think we should definitely <laughs> do like a let's chat about the game, and then also do a follow up after the game as well, like a, mm -hmm. a follow. -up. I definitely agree that would be quite fun to do. We'll book that. In. It would also be really interesting to see where everyone thinks. The game is going, and mm. then to look back at that and uh -huh, then at the end, yeah, where the game actually went, and go. So oh, okay. we'll do a review see now. Which is, Ryan Stoll. We'll do a review then, right? So let's say we did it next session, for example, we did a review. Then we'll review that video <laughs> after the game. Uh, totally agree. That'd be good. Because my plan, just for every the end, also the recording, so I commit to this, is ideally to try and finish the game this year. I don't okay. want the game. <laughs> to go into next year because on the 1st of October the game is two years old wow let that sink in that's that's insane <laughs> yeah and it's not that I'm that's not enjoying bonkers. the game I absolutely love this game I love where the stories went where it's gonna go and what new characters you play in the finale when you obviously get killed trying to kill a dragon with some bones but the nah. <laughs> I really enjoy this I don't want you guys to stop enjoying this game, which is why I want to do a finale relatively soon. And by that I mean yeah, I don't imagine I can finish it on October the 1st, obviously. I'd like to play on October 1st if we can somehow manage it, because it'd be nice to do an anniversary session again. If we can't, fair enough. Mm. I, I know obviously that is wonderful Emlyn's birthday. And uh, I should probably spend some time with her then. Probably. I? Yeah. Maybe. Or she just guest stars again. Probably. Emlyn just plays a boss because she represents Aspis by that point. Um, but I am become Aspis. So I am become piss ass. Anyway, in conclusion of this recording, uh, we should <laughs> definitely oh, consider the fact that it will end this year. I don't intend to just go, right, cool, that's October, goodbye everybody. Um, if we need more time, I don't mind playing all the way up and into December, but I will try and conclude this I, I think you're right. Uh huh. It, it makes sense. I to think like... it's a good call. Um, I I love the game. I hate the system. <laughs> yes. Um, Which is why we're designing our and own everything one. about it. And yep. I think this 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 particularly particular universe has a good definitive ending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and I, I think, think ending on a ending on a high as opposed to just drawing it out until. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, now we're in this. We're in. We've had a second gap, and now we're in. The... Uh -huh. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. I totally agree. There's also, so much I'm looking forward to whatever system I'm playing with you guys next. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was about to say. Like, obviously, I didn't want to pin people down in the spotlight of a recording, but 
I fully intend to run another Monday game, obviously, once this one concludes. Uh, mm. It doesn't need to specifically be Monday, I just intend to obviously run another game to fill up the slot once this concludes. And I'd be more than happy to have all of you back, 100%. Might even add a fifth person in as well. Oh, the fifth mm. guy is, after all, the deepest. I am really not fussed it's at not. all. I have so many options in terms of systems. Uh, I don't know what state my Friday game will be in at that point either, if that's still continue or not. Shams. We uh, should do a Monster Hearts game. Yeah, I've been what? Like Monster Hearts that runs off powered by the apocalypse, right? I am yeah, it's a it's a monster sex game. Furiously googling. Um, mostly apocalypse world is sex games. I noticed, which is very bizarre. <laughs> but on that note, for the recording, thank you for playing, everyone. <laughs> and goodbye. thank you for running. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a great oh, session. You know what? It was a good session. Man. You're a wonderful person. Thank you. Almost my. You're a wonderful, wonderful man. <laughs> uh, goodbye.